Every once in a while, we have what we might call an aha moment, a moment where the Bible, Scripture, the Word of God, speaking, teaching, come together in a moment, and we have a flash of understanding of something that we need to pay attention to. Such, I think, was the case in an ancient period of time in the city of Laodicea when the church of Laodicea gathered to hear a message, a letter read to them from the Apostle John that we know is the book of Revelation and the messages that Christ gave to John that are found there called the messages to the seven churches. I just have returned from a trip to Turkey where I toured the seven churches of Revelation on a study tour, one of which was the church, the area, the city of Laodicea. Now, here's a picture that I took just recently. It's a recently uh, uncovered house, and you have to use your imagination a little bit. This is an open floor plan, but you can see that it's quite ornate. It is, uh, has uh, quite an intricate floor. It's a large room. Uh, it would have been, uh, had marble on the floor and tiles and probably on the walls as well. It was a home of a very wealthy person, and it was an assembly room. Now, the archaeologist who has uncovered this is making the claim that this could represent, could represent a first century home church like or possibly even as he is uh, claiming uh, the place where the Christians in Laodicea met in the home of one of its wealthy members. It's possible, uh, inconclusive at this point, but this picture and this ornate room helps us to picture what is in this message that Christ gave to the church at Laodicea. Laodicea was a fabulously wealthy city. And Jesus says something to the church there as he talks about the church there in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 15 and 16. He says, I know your works. You're neither cold nor hot. I would that you were either cold or hot because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold. He says, I will spit you out of my mouth. Verse 17, for you say I am rich and have, I have prospered and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind and naked. Now, Jesus said that the church, your condition, your members, it says, you say you're rich. You are prosperous. You don't need anything. The city of Laodicea was a fabulously wealthy place. If this at least represents a house and a room quite like members of the church hearing this letter would be meeting in, and when it was read to them, you could almost imagine that they might have looked around their surroundings and recognized that this message of, from Christ to them saying, you say you're rich, you say you're prosperous, but you're really poor. It was an aha moment. It could very well have been one of those moments that they recognized that they needed to wake up. They needed to listen very carefully to this message from the living Christ to them. Now, the message to Laodicea, just as all the other six messages to the other six cities and the churches that met in those cities are very important, have important application for us today in our walk with God and our belief and, and in our faith and in our practice. We all need an aha moment from time to time when we read the Word of God, when we hear it explained and preached uh, on God's uh, Sabbath day and when we read it ourselves. And when that aha moment comes, we need to pay attention to it. I tend to think members of the church sitting in a room similar to this, a nice place, prosperous people, hearing the words from Christ saying that, beware, you're not as rich as you think you are. In fact, you are poor when it comes to the spiritual goods, the spiritual values. That may have been their aha moment to wake up. Have you ever had one? When it comes, pay attention, listen to the lesson. It may very well be the words and teachings of, of Christ to guide us to a better relationship with Him, a more vigilant relationship, and walk in our faith and our confidence in God and His promises to us. The message to Laodicea, very important one. SBT Daily. Join us next time.